Hi, I'm Scott Martin, and welcome to the Scott Martin Challenge. Hey, we've got a great show for you today. We're standing here in front of our marina, Roland Martins Marina, on the shores of Lake Okeechobee. And you know, this week I've put in a lot of hard work practicing for the upcoming FLW Series event here on Lake Okeechobee, and the lake is currently off limits now. But you know what today means? It means fun, and that's what I'm going to have today. I've got my good friend Sam Heaton from Minn Kota coming over, and we're going to film a show with my two boys, Jacob and Reed, in a little lake just outside of Clewiston. We're going to have a ball. We're going to use Arkansas Golden Shiners today, and during this show, we're going to show you why the Arkansas Golden Shiners is the bait to use when you want to have fun, catch a lot of fish, and even a big one. Stay tuned. Oh, yeah. Woo! Yes! Small mouth. Bingo! Yeah! Challenge record right there, baby. Now that's a toad spot. That could be the difference. Game over, Scotty boy. All right, you're officially disqualified. You cannot leave your boat. Think I'm in Scott's head now? I think I am. Beat me, Scott Martin. Hey, I'll tell you what, Sam, we've got our work cut out for us <laughs> with this team here. Jacob and Reed are currently undefeated on the Scott Martin Challenge. They took me down in the Everglades, didn't you, boys? Yeah, y'all ain't never <laughs> fished against me. <laughs> I'll tell you what, today's show is all about fun. We're down here right outside of Lake Okeechobee, right, right there in my hometown in Clewiston, Florida, and we're out of here at a little private lake, and we're going to have a ball. We've got some Arkansas Golden Shiners, and today we're going to talk about Arkansas Golden Shiners and the major benefits of catching well, a lot of you, fish. That's the way you catch your big fish in South Florida. You know, South Florida has always been famous for big bass and with these golden shiners there's no better way to get here absolutely arkansas golden shiners are tough they're durable we'll show you all about them it's going to be a lot of fun and uh, we're going to have a ball out here i've been i've spent five days out on the lake on okeechobee practicing for the upcoming flw event put a lot of hard work in and today is a time to just go have fun kick your shoes off and have a little family friend challenge. So if anybody be gets a 13 pounder, I'm gonna give 10 bucks to hand me the rock. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get after it. Let's make that 50. All right. 50. <laughs> Let's go, guys. Yeah. Let's get the boat in position. We'll power pole down and we'll we'll get our baits right along this edge and, and see what happens. Oh, look at that big gar. It's a big gar right we'll there. I'll tell you what, the great thing about fishing with an Arkansas Golden Shiner, you can catch anything in the lake. Catfish, bass, gar. It doesn't matter. I'm going to power pole down right here. All right, the challenge starts now. How about it? How about it, boys? You ready? You fired up? Oh, yeah. You fired up, Reed? All right. All right, what you want to do with these Arkansas Golden Shiners is, again, I use this Mustad. It's a weedless hook. Take the shiner right in the bottom lip, right in the soft part of the bottom lip, right up through the top part of his top lip there. Not too deep, but not too shallow. It's kind of the perfect little spot there. Take this weedless hook, clip it in. That way, everything's good and weedless. Yeah, oh, okay, 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 hold on. Take your time. Take your time. You know what to do. Oh, let him eat it. You got, you got to set the hook. You've got, you've got Kistler carbon steel rod there, Reed. You can set the hook as hard as you want, buddy. Now, what I've got here for shiner fishing, you want to have the right setup. And this is a Kistler flipping stick. This is a carbon steel Kistler rod. Very, very durable rod. You want good quality equipment when you're shiner fishing. Matched up with this is an Abu Garcia Revo Toro. It's a wide spool reel. Got it rigged up with 80 pound braid. So that I can battle anything I want. I mean, I can fight a tarpon with this rod. And, and uh, so you want to have that set up right. But one of the advantages and one of the big things you want to have with this rod and this reel is a clicker, a bait clicker. So what I can do is push that button in turn that clicker on and I can lay this rod down and if a fish hits it the clicker is going to go off and that's real important so like right now I can go back and help Jacob I can lay this rod down like that and if a fish hits that clicker is going to go off that's real important so I'm going to go bait him up and get after it you know this wind boys is changing these storms and all this coming through is changing the way these, this wind's blowing and here in a second oh you got one Reed's got one Reed's got one on Oh, no, no, Reed. There you go. Oh, man. Golly. Whoa, job, Rito's Reed. got a big bass. Big fish. Oh, my goodness. Your teammate's on the board. Oh, yeah. oh Lord. Oh, boy, I don't want this to break on me. Come on. He ain't going to break yeah, that hold, spider hold, wire. Hurry, hurry. Here, pull him this way. Pull him this way. He's not going to break that spider wire. Oh, there you yeah. go. Oh, my uh, Jake, what do you think? Your teammate's on, on the board. 
All right. Perfect place. Perfect place to hook him. He couldn't have got off in a week. Yeah. <laughs> I've got one, partner. Get out! Oh, Chihuahua. Woo, Whoa, look at that. Man. Look at that, boys. Look at that. Get off. Get off. Who said that? <laughs> <laughs> Huh, look at that. Now look here, we've got that shiner still on there. Look at there. All right. Good I believe that's big bass. fish, what do you think? Here you go, Sam. Yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. Pull your line up, Jake. Pull your line up, Jake. Ooh, Jake, you're getting my fish. All right. I'll fix it for you. Oh, you got it, babe. Come here, Mr. Bass. All right. What do you think, partner? Pretty good, pretty good. That's two. We're going to keep track. That's how the challenge will be today. We'll just keep track the number of fish, and we'll keep our biggest one. How about that? The challenge today will be the biggest bass caught. We'll win the challenge. How about that? Now that, guys, is what you catch on an Arkansas Golden Shiner. Isn't that cool? The Scott Martin Challenge is brought to you by Ranger Boats, still building legends one at a time. By Power Pole, swift, silent, secure. And by Arkansas Certified Bait Fish. For more information, log on to safebaitfish.org. When you ever get a bass and your bobber goes down, you have to wait about five seconds for you to actually then set the hook. Allows that fish to get in his mouth good, yeah. yeah. There you go, Reed. Oh, man. Reel your feline, Jake. Reel your feline. Oh, yeah. Reel up your line. Oh, yeah. Woo, Chihuahua. Right. Ooh. Sam is the man. Look you know, that. that's a good quality bass. That's and a when you, beautiful when you, fish. When you fish, when you fish with live bait, you catch them all sizes. You catch them little ones, and you'll catch a lot of big ones, too. We hadn't set into one of those big ones yet, mm. but we've got a real good chance of it today with the way the weather is. Unfortunately, it's raining a lot off and on, but. Hey, those big ones bite on days like today. All right, here's what we're going to do, boys. I'll tell you what, when you shiner fish, when you live bait fish, boat position is very important. Now, when we started off on this spot, the wind was blowing in on it perfect. With these storms coming in, the winds change, and it's actually blowing down this cattail line. We're still catching a few fish, but it's not the right boat position. So what we're going to do, we're going to go around and reposition the boat on a spot that the wind's blowing in on, and we can actually keep our baits in line, because what we don't want to have happen is a lot of crossing over, and that's what we're having happen here, is we're all having to cast down wind, and the lines are gonna get crisscrossed. So, boat position is key. So let's move a little bit, boys, and go find another spot and get squared up on the, on the spot there. All right, guys, we've got the traditional rig when you're shiner fishing is, of course, just put it on a cork or a, or a bobber. But there's another little rig that we use down here in Florida, and you can use it anywhere in the country. It's called a sinker rig. And what that is, is basically, I take a three quarter ounce bell sinker, tie it onto your line, then go up and double your line, do an overhand knot, take your mustad four rod hook right there, lasso that on, then put your cork on above that. So what this is basically is a drop shot. We call it a sinker rig. And what this rig allows you to do is you can take this rig and throw it crosswind or into the wind, and with that weight on the bottom, it's going to hold that shiner in that perfect position. So a lot of times when I'm fishing, I'll take the sinker rigs and throw them out behind the boat or crossways and let those rods just kind of hang out right there in that strike zone. And again, the wind's not going to blow them. So it's a, it's a real effective way of catching a lot of fish and, and again, keeps it right in the right spot. Oh, yeah, boys. Oh, boy. That's a big one. Boys, we have a big one here. Uh-oh. Got a new big fish later on Friday. Oh, he's a mule. It is a, a mule. Oh, my goodness gracious, Reed. You going to get him, Reed? Get him, Reed. Get him, Reed. Don't let him bite you, Reed. Grab him, Reed. Two hands. 
<laughs> Can you even pick him up? <laughs> <laughs> that, guys, is what you catch on an Arkansas Golden Shiner. Now, isn't that cool? Big old bass like that. The proof's in the pudding, guys. I'll tell you what, how awesome was that, man? Was that awesome? Give me five. The Scott Martin Challenge is brought to you by Minn Kota, anywhere, anytime. Garmin, get a Garmin and get on fish. And Abu Garcia for life. You know, today we're using the Arkansas Golden Shiner and I tell you, there, there's so many benefits to that bait. You know, we, we have a marina on Lake Okeechobee, Royal Martin's Marina. And we go through hundreds of thousands of shiners a year and we buy most of our bait. They're certified Arkansas Golden Shiners. You know, disease free is what is what's so important. I mean, you Absolutely. know, with the big bass virus, the snakehead and all that kind of stuff, that can just devastate a place. It absolutely can, you know. I mean, you're exactly right. You know, the disease, these fish, when you're not, when they're not certified like this and, and, and disease free, they can ruin a fish population in, in a small, small lake like this. Sure. If we took bad shiners, in this lake now, we could ruin this lake sure. by, by transporting some type of weird disease. But because these are Arkansas certified bait fish, I mean, these things are, are, are perfect. And, and, and they're hardy too. I mean, these things swim hard and they get more bites. And uh, you know, we've got, a, we've got the largest guide service on Lake Okeechobee. Sure. And that's what we use. And, and our customers catch us, catch us thousands of fish a year, big ones. Hey, if you guys at home are wondering how, how to get more information about these bait fish we're using today, Check them out online at safebaitfish.org. You can learn all about the curing process, learn about how you can get them, and go to your local tackle retailers there that sell bait around your communities and ask them if they have safe bait fish, because I tell you what, you'll catch a lot of fish and it's a major advantage. Matter of fact, we've got a bite right now on this one. There you go, there you go, Jake. Perfect. Oh, it's oh, a big man, one. Jake. It's a Come on! <laughs> all right. Man, you couldn't have. I can oh, see him. He's a good bass, one. Reed? He's a good one. Your teammate's got one. He's a good one. All right. Keep that rod up. I'm going to take this clicker off. There you go. You sure that wasn't your rod, Scott? No, that was my rod, but I was letting him hold it. Why? Telling everybody about how great this bait fish is. <laughs> Why? Why hey, would you do that? The proof's in the pudding, guys. I'll tell you what, how awesome was that, man? Wow. Was that awesome? Give me five. <laughs> it's a competition today, but I'll tell you what. We're just having fun out here, oh, man. Yeah. Beautiful bass. Yeah, Look at that thing. You know, Sam, I've been fishing professionally for 10 years now. Mm -hmm. But my whole life, I've run a Minn Kota trolling motor. Mm -hmm. and, and, and I've never had a problem. I've never had a single problem. I've been very fortunate. I've never had a board go out. I've never had a trolling motor break. They work every single day I go out, which is so important. Right. Innovation has got to be the key. It's just like this new four tracks. Oh, it's an awesome trolling motor. I just got this thing a couple weeks ago, Sam, and, and that thing is so sturdy. I just used it for about seven days on Lake Okeechobee, practicing for that event. It never made a single crick or noise. It's solid as a rock. I mean, it's just an unbelievable motor. It, it's, it's the best bracket we've ever, we've ever built. We changed this upper arm to extruded aluminum. The reason we did that was for safe, weight saving, uh, saving weight on the trolling sure. motor, getting the weight off the front of the boat. The other is the durability. It, it just absolutely locks the motor down where it will not move. Years ago, Sam, you remember this? They sent us down a trolling motor. They said, hey, we want you to test this thing. It's a new bracket with the shock absorber and everything and the, and the, new, and the new shaft. It's indestructible. And they said, take, take this and try to break it. So we put the trolling motor down in the water like it is now and actually took the boat and drove it into the rocks on purpose and the whole trolling motor bent underneath the boat. Everything's just all about to explode. And then all of a sudden, the boat, you know, we've had it neutral, the boat pushed, the trolling motor pushed the boat back and everything went back to normal. And we lifted it up and for sure we thought, oh, it's gonna be all broken. The trolling motor's perfect. It still worked, there was no problems with it. Not being ugly, but 
I knew if there was anybody in the world could tear one up, it was you and your dad. <laughs> Dad's good at tearing stuff up, and if he can't break them, and I can't break them, yeah. you can't break them. I promise you. There he is. Uh oh, got one. You better come oh. here. You better come here. Get Maybe him, you're Reed. getting lucky. What kind of get treatment him, Reed. do you get? Man, you get the good treatment, buddy. Look at that, Reed. Hold on, oh, don't be too, gracious. don't be too jumping around with him. Wow. Don't let him get in the total motor. Freezer. Hey. Oh. Rito. Rito. Look at that, buddy. Look at that. Look at that fish, bud. Good job. Yeah. Is that Those cool? Those shiners cannot die unless you shoot them with a shotgun. <laughs> The Scott Barton Challenge is brought to you by Ranger Boats, still building legends one at a time. Evinrude Outboards, spend more time on the water. And Berkeley, catch more fish. Hey guys, you know, I spent a lot of days on the water, over 250 days a year, traveling around the country fishing the FLW Tour and the FLW Series, and I have to provide for my family. And fishing against that caliber of fisherman on the tour, you have to have good equipment. And behind me is my moneymaker. That's my Ranger Evernood combination. Ranger Z520 paired up with an Evernood 250 HO. It's an unbelievable combination. There's so many benefits to that combination that allows me to be successful on the water. Come on, let's check it out, I'll show you. Hey guys, under the count of this new 250HO, we're talking pure technology here. Tremendous fuel mileage, great dependability, speed, and no scheduled maintenance for up to three years. With this motor, it gets me to where I need to be quickly. Hey, with the Ranger Z520, the unique hull design is the key. We're talking speed and stability. You know, you can have speed with a lot of boats, but you sacrifice stability. And with the Z520, you've got both of them matched up great. As I travel around the country fishing big water, you have to have that combination to compete on the level that I do. I tell you what, this is like a Cadillac on the water. You know, the storage system on the Ranger Z520 is awesome. Here on the, on the left side of the boat here, you've got great storage for all your rods and reels. You have a center box here that has all your rods and reels and actual storage in there as well for tackle. And then on this side of the boat here, you've got a dry storage for all your rain gear, tackle boxes and hats and different things like that. I tell you, the storage system on the Ranger Z520 is awesome. And I tell you, another thing that's great about this boat is the live well system. This live well system keeps my bass alive and well. Hey guys, thanks for checking out my boat with me, but I did forget one important thing. This boat looks pretty awesome too. I'm going fishing. I tell you what guys, you know, this is kind of a neat, this is kind of a special trip, you know, for a lot of reasons. I'm out here with my boys, having a great time. I'm out here with my good, good buddy, longtime friend Sam Heaton, and uh, and just enjoying the day. I, I tell you, you know that, and that's what shiner fishing is about. Sure. You know, going out with your family, taking your wife out, your kids out, going out there having a good time. We're not we're not having to do anything, but just throw the shiners out there, pick a spot out, and catch big bass. I tell you, and that's what's fun. And caught some good fish. Oh man, we've caught yeah. some good fish. We're gonna we'll hopefully keep catching. I, I want to catch a big one. I want to catch it like a ten pound. Man, I, I think you can. Thirteen. Thirteen. All right. That's what 13. I'm talking about. Reed, Reed, you've got one. You've got one, buddy. You've got one. Get him, Reed. It's a good one. Oh, Ooh. my goodness. I can throw a gold shiner. <laughs> What'd you Go. catch him on? That I can throw a gold shiner. <laughs> Sinker rig master. Look at that. Look at that. Now, check this out. I'll show you something really cool. See how that bait fish is still on there? Now, because, because these bait fish are so hardy, Let's throw this one back real quick. Throw him back. Now watch this, guys. Watch this. That bait fish is still alive. Watch this. Get the, get the grass off. Now, with just about any other shiner, you'd have to throw him away because he's all torn up, but I'll throw him right back out there, and he's good for another fish. Oh, man. Look at that one, Jake. Hold on. Slow down. Here you go. Pull him this way. Here, pull him in, pull him in, pull him in. Dude. Good fish. Wow. 
<laughs> oh, look at that hook fell out. Oh my goodness. Hey, you know what that was? We just caught that little bass on that other shiner, and we threw the shiner back out there, and that shiner was still healthy enough, and we caught this fish. It's two fish on one shiner. How about that? that awesome. We'll cut him in the box. How about that? I think your other one's bigger, but we'll put him in there for a little bit. Two bass on one shiner. Yeah. How about that? Yeah. Is that Those shiners cannot die unless you shoot them with a shotgun. <laughs> You heard it here first. They can't die unless you shoot them with a shotgun. I tell you what, Sam, I hope you had a good time out here today. I sure had a blast. Oh, I had a ball. This has been one of the most memorable and the best fishing trips I've ever had in my life. Well, I tell you what, we'll weigh these big ones. Let's, let's put them in the box. We'll weigh them in just a second. And let's, let me let me go ahead and throw those little ones back, boys. Throw them back over there, Rick. We'll put these in here. There you go. And we're going to weigh oh, those. You see that one jump? I guess y'all know right. y'all. Everybody's under Ben Coda contract now. All right, here's what we're gonna do. <laughs> it's starting to rain bad, but I tell you what, boys, Jake, give me five, man. That was awesome. That was awesome. Give Sam mm -hmm. five. Hey, if you guys want to have a blast out here today, like we did out here on this pond, get to all these fish. <laughs> I tell you what, go by your local tackle shop and ask them if they've got Arkansas certified bait fish. These things are hardy. They catch a lot of fish. And for more information, check them out online at safebaitfish.org. Just tune in next week. We're on New Lake with a new challenger. Yeah. What do you think, Sam? I, I hope I get the opportunity to go again with you guys. <laughs> oh, yeah. Everybody's under Minn Kota contract. You can't sign with anybody else. All right. We're Minn Kota for life. <laughs> <laughs> See you guys. Thanks Bye. for watching. See you. For more information on Arkansas certified bait fish, log on to safebaitfish.org. Find out how Arkansas certified bait fish will help you catch more fish and protect the environment. That is a beauty. <laughs>